Soft flats or theatrical style flats are typically made with a 1x3 frame laid flat and secured with butt joints and quarter inch plywood gusset plates. It is traditionally covered with muslin or canvas fabric. The sample I am making uses a modification of the traditional method with three types of gusset plates, corner blocks, keystones, and half straps. This version uses corner blocks for all joints. The framing units are named, specifically, two rails, the top rail, and the bottom rail, two styles, one on either side, one or more toggles, and two or more corner braces. We're going to make a three foot by eight foot soft flat. The first thing we have to do is cut our boards. I don't have any drawings, I'm just gonna make one that's three by eight. And I'm going to show you some shortcuts on how to make your flat construction a little more accurate. The first thing we need to do is we need to cut our top and bottom rail pieces. And we know they're going to be three feet wide. So I'm just going to cut some pieces that are three feet wide and we're going to start with that. But this is my fresh cut lumber right, right off the table saw. It's uh, one by three. I know it's supposed to be two and a half inches and it's pretty darn close to two and a half inches. That one's a little different. It might be variable in various places. But the most important thing is the end, we can't trust to be 100% square. I mean, we can take a square and we can check it, and it looks like it's pretty darn close, but I'm not gonna call that close enough. That one's closer. So the first thing I wanna do with my lumber before I start even measuring is I just wanna chop a bit off of that and chop a bit off of that and make it square. So that's what we're going to do. All right, now I'm confident both my ends are square. I can double check if I try square again, and it looks much better. I'm much happier. I'm gonna measure to three feet. So here's the shortcut for accuracy, and this will be a little more accurate. Sure, I can take this piece of one by and this piece of one by and add it up. I can have my drawing, which tells me what it's supposed to be. This is two and a half inches. This is two and a half inches. That's five inches. And the whole overall flat is supposed to be eight feet. So I can subtract five inches from eight feet, and I get the seven feet, seven inches. So I can measure my two pieces to be seven feet, seven inches, and I can be reasonably assured that my flats are going to be pretty accurate. Or I can use this technique, which is to take the two tops and bottom rails after they've been cut. I can butt the boards up that I'm going to cut my styles out of. Now, I measure the entire length of this, and I mark out eight feet. And now that map that I didn't have to do in my head, or I didn't have to do on a scratch piece of paper, is going to make it just that tiny bit more accurate, depending on how accurate I mark things in human error. Now I have my two styles, they're cut to be just right so that when these, they're put together with these two pieces of rails, it will be exactly eight feet. I need to do the same thing for my toggle. I'm going to have one toggle in the middle. So I'm gonna put my two boards together. That is the square edge. I'm gonna put my two 
cords together. My two rails plus the toggle should be three feet. And there I have all five pieces that I need to build my flat with my corner blocks and possibly a couple cross braces, uh, which I will add later.